Craig, uh, some good news yesterday that the manager will be able to sit in the dugout for the cup final. That must be, was that something the players were aware of? Were they kind of concerned about that as well? Um, to be fair, it was all, all kept, kept a bit quiet within. Obviously, he came in and told us yesterday, which would be a, a, mas- a massive uh, boost for the lads. And I think he deserves to be there. Obviously, uh, it's going to be very unfortunate for him and for Motherwell to, to miss out on that opportunity to him to uh, manage the team uh, on the sidelines. So I think it's... Uh, it's really good news. Yeah. And obviously, you had a, you know, a good midweek last week with the, the goal. You came out the team score the goal. It must have been a big, a big boost for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, um, it's part of my game to create goals and score goals. So, um, obviously, I was fortunate enough to be able to put one in the corner against Dundee, and hopefully, I can add a few more to help the team uh, throughout the season. And obviously, you've like, not been starting every week, but when you come in, you are contributing. Is that the key to keep doing that when you get the chance? Yeah, definitely. I think when you have a squad like we have here and everyone's pushing for the same direction, I think um, you can't always expect to start. Like, There's a lot of games and the manager changes it due to tactical decisions and I think it's working throughout the season. I think the lads who, are, who play give their all and they know they need to give 100% to um, so show the respect for the lads who aren't on the bench and the lads who are on the bench. And when you get a chance to come in, then you've got to also repay the respect they've shown you with the performances they've been putting in by doing the are doing the same. How much are you enjoying things here this season? Things have just really clicked for the squad. Yeah, definitely. I, I couldn't, couldn't be happier on and off the field, to be honest. Um, coming every day with a big smile on my face and looking forward to seeing the lads, looking forward to going out, working on my game and looking forward to then go putting what I'm working on into into performances for the fans and the club. Yeah, you're in a good time after the, the two seasons previously weren't as great here at Mollywell and this one's really been a, a turn of it. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think um, that's what the main aim, obviously, we've got all our all our goals in house, which we keep keep to ourselves, which we're striving for, and we we always um, we take note of them throughout the season and or the progression we're taking with them. And then, obviously, I feel like it's something that the club really really deserved and needed throughout the season was a was the start we've had. But at the end of the day, we're only at the start of November, and there's still a lot of football to be played. So, if we're in a similar position at the end of the season, then um, it'll be definitely a, a good season for us to remember. Are the next two games kind of an opportunity for all you guys to, to fight for your places for the League Cup final? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think, well, to be honest, I think it's a, the next two games are a fight just to play in the, them two games. And that's that's the way you got to look at it. If, if you're not playing, obviously, against uh, Ross County on Saturday, then you need to be training even harder throughout the week to make sure you play against Aberdeen. And that's the way you got to look at it. And then the manager will, manager will pick his, his 11, whichever he feels for the final, which one's... If you're playing, you're playing. If you're not, you're not. And no matter what, everyone will be supporting everyone throughout. Has looking ahead to that game kind of made a difference to your training? Or will it make a difference? To nah, you? none at all, to be honest. Like, it's just, for me, it's ages away. There's so much which can happen in between that. And you've just got to be focusing on the next game and your next training session. You just take it day by day and you just see what will come of it.